Hey there guys, Aaron C. coming at you again today with another lesson. So what are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to talk a little bit today about modes, okay? And well, just one in particular, we're not going to do a whole mode of lesson because we would need at least the whole day if we were going to do that. Well, today I'm going to talk about the Dorian mode a little bit and just kind of a shortcut if you're looking for the sound and what that brings to the table and just a couple shortcuts of what you can do. Now, I'm going to do the D Dorian mode, which is off, which is a minor, okay, uh, in relation to the key of C, it's the second one, okay? So that's going to go D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, okay, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and then you can throw the E and the F in there too, okay? Could you do that anywhere? On, on the neck, absolutely, okay? It's not just limited to this position. This is just an easy go-to position where you know where everything's at, okay? There's a simple chord progression I like doing, doing any of the modes where I use what is called a pedal tone. It's just where all the chords share the same bass note. For example, when I do the D minor, I go to the C over D, and I go to the G over D. So if you notice, once again, the pedal tone, which is where all three of those chords have the D in the bass as the lowest note in the chord. So with the D minor, C over D, G over D. Now, uh, a perfect scenario is if you have some kind of looper, uh, i.e. garage band, you know, if you go back in the days of band in the box, whatever, okay? just a good little thing. Even if you just want to do that C over D, you know, and kind of vamp that, that's another option there if you want to go even a little more simpler. So anyways, that's a center chord progression I go in. Now, because this is a minor, another thing that's been named is this, is the happy minor, okay, because it's not super dark, but it is minor, so it does have a darker sound to it. So when I'm camping out and I want to hear that Dorian sound, I'll usually kind of go a little more on the higher end. I might throw some octaves in there. So I might throw some of those in there. Okay, so those are just some options with dealing with the D Dorian, and you have to be careful when going into the modal world because you can open up a can of worms. So that's why if you notice, I try to contain everything there just to keep it simple so you get a taste of that sound without just going over the top and losing yourself. So, hope that was help, uh, some help to you today. So thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Always love to see you guys hanging out with me. As always, uh, leave me a message if you have any questions or interested in lessons, and we will see you next time.